what's going on? It's Matt. Today I want to talk to you about the best way to clean your reels or the way that I clean my reels, specifically higher end reels. This in my hand is a 13 Concept A. It retails for about $175. So definitely on the higher end, not the most expensive reel, but these are the reels that I choose to throw and I own about eight of them. I'm gonna to talk to you real quickly about what I feel the best way to clean them is and also what to do when you're not using them for an extended period of time and how you can prolong the life of that particular reel. It doesn't have to be a 13 reel. So let's kind of start off with that. So a lot of times when we go out fishing, we tighten down our drag and the drag right here on the 13 is a star drag right here. You can hear the clicking. When you tighten down your drag, it's obviously so you can get more leverage on the fish when you're kind of dragging it out of stuff or even when you hook into it. So a lot of us wrench it down, like I just said, but when you're not using your reel for an extended period of time, let's just say like in the winter months, do yourself a huge favor and back off that drag. Also, back off of the tension knob. And the reason why you wanna do that is because both of these mechanisms apply pressure to the ball bearings inside of the reel. So over the course of time when they're not necessarily being used, you're making it that much harder for the bearings to kind of work properly. Now, these are bearings that don't go out of shape and they basically, you know, you'd have to put a lot of pressure on them, but over the course of time, it does have an effect on the performance of the reel. So if you're gonna not fish for an extended period of time, back off your star drag, back off your tension knob. Now let's talk about cleaning these things. The first thing you wanna do is, if you got extra line on it, strip it off. Oh man. Probably should have unspooled on camera the non-deep spool. Okay, no more line on the reel. Toss this away. And if you notice, about two thirds of that spool was backed with braid. Uh, it's a great way to save money. A lot of people will just do leaders. I feel more confident than by putting a little bit more on as far as you know the floor or the mono, whatever you're gonna put on as far as the leader. I usually do about six to seven casts worth, so I don't have to worry about my knot tying. Now this next step is super duper important. You're gonna take some bubble wrap. You're gonna cut out a big size a bubble wrap. You're gonna take the reel, you're gonna put it in the bubble wrap. You're gonna wrap it up nice and tight. You're gonna get a box. You're gonna take that reel, you're gonna put it in the box, you're gonna close the box, and you're gonna send it off to your reel manufacturer. Now, yeah, I'm probably gonna get a lot of crap for this, but I don't clean my own reels. Now, let me clarify by that. Yes, I clean my reels when it comes to taking a Q-tip and doing the worm guide or popping open the side and taking out the spool and lubing. That's really basic cleaning. Uh, if you fish as much as I do, and personally I don't think I fish enough, uh, which is usually in the summertime about anywhere from one to two times a week. Uh, in the winter time you can tell that I don't fish a lot right now, but uh, if you do fish that much, I highly suggest that once a year you send your reels off for a deep clean. A lot of guys that are watching this right now are saying, well, I do a deep clean on my reel, I take it all apart and blah, 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 and that's fantastic. However, there's a drawback to that. You can screw up. Um, I took shop class, I know how to put things back together, um, and I'm pretty handy with everything, but when it comes to spending $175 on a reel, 
And when you have nine of those reels, it's just not a risk I'm willing to take. Uh, you know, my eyesight isn't as good as it used to be. And I'd rather send it off to the dealer. And 13 has a cleaning and service program. Uh, if you have a 13 reel, take a look at it. It's on their website. It's not cheap. And what I suggest is this. I really procrastinated with doing this and cleaning my reels. And to the point where we're almost in February, right? I wanted to do it in December because I didn't think I was going to fish it all in January. It takes anywhere from three to four weeks to get your reels back. Um, but if you send it one, if you send it to the manufacturer, you're not going to lose your warranty if something goes wrong. And if there's something wrong with the reel, they can immediately replace that particular part and let you know. Um, but so you want to give yourself some leeway time. So what I'm doing right now, because I waited so long is, is like I'm only sending three reels at a time. So I'm sending a seven to one and a six to six and then another, like an eight to one. And the reason why I'm doing that is, is because I just will have, I have duplicates of all those reels, those reel speeds at home. So if I want to go fishing while these reels are out, I'll just have to change some rods around. I'll have to move the reel from one rod to another for certain applications. Uh, down on the water, obviously, before I leave. So I'll only have one cranking stick for a little while, while and I'll only have like one Texas rig or one soft plastic bait uh, rod for a while, but that's okay. So, you know, the reason why I'm making this is because I see a lot of people ask about what's the best way to clean your reels and stuff like that. So my personal opinion is if you're dealing with a higher end reel, and even though you may be super mechanically inclined, send it off to your manufacturer. If you don't want to send it off to your manufacturer, go on your Facebook groups, ask somebody. Final advice, <clears throat> take care of your equipment. It'll last you a lot longer than if you don't, of course. Um, I really firmly believe that these concept days, they should last me probably about five or six years. And I plan on not changing them out. I love the reels. That's it. That's my video for today. I dropped some knowledge. Anyway, thanks for watching these videos. Thanks for all the support. Don't forget to give this one a big thumbs up. Share it because it's kind of funny. It's kind of comical, but there's some kind of truth in there too. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Bye.